Sarko, the living legend DJ, and um, still going. When's your next big, what, what are you DJing? Are you doing anything for Fashion Week? Yeah, I, but uh, what I'm doing right now is really, it's more, uh, I do a lot of musical supervision, a lot of, you know, like I'll like make CDs for people's parties. So do like you um, discover it's, it's music? Like, things. do you ever like listen to people's stuff and say, oh, oh I want to use it? Well, of course. I mean, if, if somebody wants to throw things at me, but yeah. I, always, I always listen to, you know, newer things, you know, to incorporate, because that was always my style. My my style was always to mix um, whatever, you know, things that I, I hoped I was breaking, right. and then, and, as well cool. as older things, but that that's an old radio trick. I started mm -hmm. out on radio. Oh, you did? And that, uh, the way that you break new music is that you sandwich it between golden Right. Records. So, so do you, you do can, you, I'm sorry to interrupt, but okay. what about Ganya? Do you, do you know Ganya Raven? Well, I, I, I don't think I ever knew her. I okay. think she was really before my time. No, I know, but she's a DJ now on oh, Sirius. She? Oh, she cool. actually, you know, does that. She right. plays like. That's how you do it. Because you know, what you want to do is, uh, you want to get people Ganya, to go, I love oh, Ganya. wow, I, I love, I love that song. So then they trust you and they, they, they take their, um, their de they pull their defenses down. Mm -hmm. And so when they're opened up, then you'll play something else that they'll remember, and then their defenses are totally down. Then you shoot through with something they've never heard before. Right. Awesome. Right. And so even though they then pull their defenses back up, they're kind of trusting you enough because right. people feel very threatened if they don't know a song. Sure. And when, you, when you're in nightclubs, the type of clubs that I started in, people would literally start throwing, you know, I, I was very good at ducking glassware. Wow. So they get very angry because then they feel that they're not cool. And if they don't feel cool and they've had too much to drink and enough drugs, then they in feel Those friendly. days, they the Michael friendly. Todd room. Oh well, my no, God. Todd was that civilized. was so much fun. No, yeah, but I but you, were, uh, you said too many drugs and that's what I thought. Oh, well, they are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the drugs used to be. Oh, they were also at Michael. Oh Michael my was God. Uh, but Michael Todd was when ecstasy was Mike starting. Michael Todd was ecstasy. Yes, yeah. I know. I met so many cool people in that room. Yeah, we used to lie in each other's stomachs. I met like Duran Duran back there. Oh, yeah, Tom's yeah, Twins. Yeah, Everybody was in that yeah. room. Yeah. Oh my, I loved that room. Yeah, it, was a fun it was a lot of fun. It was a thousand people could fit into that room. It was a, a really fun room. room. Yeah. I like the Michael Todd room. I, lady, I'm glad. See, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm glad I'm not a kid today because, well, now it's, it's I mean, no. First of all, you have to be it's 21. Smart. Yeah, that's that's ah, bad. that's bad. Well, I mean, that's, that's why I mean, like the Beastie Boys are my 14 year olds. See, so they would let in, for, you know, we would let in 14 year olds they because they could pass for 18. Right? Years. Yeah, exactly. But that's when we would get our ID. Yeah, and it was like it was legit. much better. It was much better. I know. I feel for the kids today. But I, I mean, now it. now you go to hotels, you go to restaurants, you go to uh, the art place. You go to their, like, yeah, I... You go to where there's parties or openings. It's just different. Do yeah, but the police them. come and bust them up. Like, and, and it's uh, not... They give them breathalyzers. What? And, yes, what? not in the city so much. but that my sucks. Yes. Well, unless they're driving. It's not fun. Yeah. All right, but enough of that. Yeah. Back to you. We want a skeleton from your closet. A skeleton from my closet. Yeah. Okay, well, in line, since we have a theme going today, as a child bride... I did commit adultery. Ah. So I guess oh, I am damned. No. I didn't say that. No, you're not damned. No. But you can wait, wait, you wait, can't wait, forget. Child bride. Wait, were you the bride. adulteress? Oh, yeah. So, like, wait. So, you, you mean, I'm confused. <laughs> so, did you sleep with someone while you were she married? Cheated. She cheated. Did you sleep with your husband? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She cheated. I have some bagel for that. Please. <laughs> That's my kind of girl. And but then, as you can tell, that I'm no longer married. So, Sometimes when people act out, it's for a very not, good they're reason. They're not the wrong person. Exactly. Sometimes it's just a way of getting through something. I've so, been there. I, you know, I mean, I've been there. And I think it's self defense emotionally. No, I've been there. I, I understand. <laughs> and there's also but like a lot of committing things. adultery is that I don't believe in if, that if, commandment. If, that's like no, 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 it's not that you don't necessarily do it and for emotional reasons to actually better the situation in the long run. So adultery in that way is beneficial. But the thing is, is that then later when you want to have a really good love, you have to in your own mind realize that you really don't want to commit adultery. Well, because you're not going out right. to no, say, I'm going to do that. I don't think I think anybody I, wants to. No, I'm saying some, when you commit adultery, sometimes you do. I know I oh, do. Oh, yeah, really? I do. 
This is like, oh, what would Dr. Ruth say about this? What do you think? Did I, did it, I did it. I did it. I did it for why she said it because you acted. You acted on it. Oh, you mean when, when you were my married? My marriage was not a good marriage, you and don't. so in order for me to get past it and get on with life to the good, to the honest part of life, I needed to do that in order to break it. Nobody breaks up a relationship. I need, I need a bagel. She's eating a bagel. I want another bagel. No wonder you were thinking Give me a bagel. I just confessed to a dog <laughs> Jesus. It's bagel. Jesus. It's bagel. It's bagel. It's bagel. It's bagel. Oh, no. That was the gun. The gun. I know. <laughs> Everything comes out on the show. So what, what's the skeleton in your closet? Oh, gosh. I, 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 you oh, know, come on. Like, when people, oh, I'll, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you which one. Um, it's so funny. Like, so many times, like, I'll be like, oh, I have to remember that one when somebody asks me, like, to tell a skeleton. And then, of course, I'm, like, having a senior moment. But let me think of a skeleton. Um, I do have a few. I'm trying to think of a recent one um, that I can think of. Do you know one? Um, well, you know, we could talk about Jamaica. Which one? Oh, because you do know skeletons in my closet. She knows a few. Oh, well, maybe we should talk about her. Can you tell us? No. Give, we'll give her a, a, a hint. No. But, um, you know, um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Um, Right. All right, I, I, I used to be able to, um, I, I was kind of reckless in the age of, before they gave breathalyzers to people driving, and I did drive sometimes dangerously, and I'm not happy about that, and I, I hate that, I hate that so Shame. very much, I agree, and I did have a few little car accidents, and, um, but she didn't hurt anyone else, I never hurt she anyone else, only exactly. myself, I didn't have a few accidents. <laughs> I did. Just but I never got a ticket. I mean, maybe they didn't catch me. You know, I actually so I wrecked a few cars. Well, it was yeah, actually on. Dickie's car. My brother, I hated it. He made me drive. And I would I was crying. Please don't let me drive. I don't want to drive. Was he drunk too? Yeah, but he was staying at like a we were at a party and he didn't want to leave. And I had to like take his friend somewhere and I just remember going over a divider in the middle of the road. Oh jeez. Destroyed the bottom of his car, and um, and the cops came, and I just cried and said, I don't know what happened. And he was like, Oh, honey, it's just good about being a girl. It, oh, really is. Is. Oh, it does work, and it works. It, it used work. to. Now I get stopped, and really? I'm like, Just give me the ticket and leave me yeah. alone. I get scared now from them. And I think story. the drugs helped. <laughs> You know, now that I don't do them anymore, it's like that. Like, give me the ticket. It's like I don't know which is worse. Well, it's always good to be really nice to the policeman. I know. I don't know. It that always feels better. Trust me. The man. Oh man, those men. They they stink, man. So do you have a website like people can no. find you? You do. No, you can find me on Facebook. Right. Yeah. All right. I never did that type of thing. No, I don't have a. I've never had a card. Right, you don't need it. You're like the Fabergé commercial. They just tell their <laughs> friends, and then they tell their friends. Nobody exactly. forgets you. Word of mouth. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to be. Well, thank you so much, and thank please come so visit much. anytime. Thank I you. feel lucky that you came to Ruin Hill. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. we will be back with more fun and games. And, uh, yes. Bagels. Anita Sarko. Bagels. Bagels.